Today, I'll show you how to make your hierarchy much more organized and useful thanks to multiple appearance settings. Welcome to the first episode of this quick Unity tips where I show you some interesting free Unity assets or, as the name suggests, collection of tips. In this video, I'll share with you this brand new Unity package I've recently discovered made by Fabucci. As you can see, it allows you to change the appearance of your Unity hierarchy with various features that I'll of course show you in this video. Go ahead and click on the link in the video description and download Unity package of the newest version. In my case, it's 1.0. After that, let's switch to the Unity. Here, you can see one of the built-in Unity projects with pretty organized hierarchy, but we can make it much better. Just drag downloaded Unity package into your projects folder and click Import. Then, to activate updated hierarchy UI, in Assets, find Editor Default Resources, Febuchi, and finally, that hierarchy data asset. As you can see, our hierarchy has been immediately updated. Let's check all of the settings. The simplest one I like to show you first is this alternating background option. As you can see, it gives every alternating row a bit darker appeal to make it more distinguishable for longer lists. Another useful one, separators. As you can see, this hierarchy has some empty objects that are here just to separate different groups. To make them work with our plugin, select all of them and make sure that they have a tag called editor only. Then go back to our settings and type with what characters our separators start with. In my case, the equals sign. After that change, we now have a nice colors that allows us to split up sections of our hierarchy and with some color tweaking, you can set them to best suit your liking. Next, icons and prefabs. So we can assign different icons to specific scripts. For example, I know that this check options have a pickup object script attached to them. To make them more prominent, we can quickly find the script in the project files and then here in icons, pairs, element zero and target classes, drag it in. That immediately adds a small icon next to our game objects with pickup object script. You can add as many scripts for the same icon and of course, you can also add multiple icons and rules. Similarly, the prefabs option allows you to color all the prefabs in the scene. Again, as an example, I know that here in additional track, there is some straight tracks and to make them more distinguishable, in prefabs, element zero, I simply drag that prefab in and choose which color I'd like to apply. And now, last but not least, there is also a trees option. When you enable it, it creates this nice looking tree branches. What's more, to better keep track of which branch is opened, by default you have two different alternating colors. You can also modify these tree branches colors to know how deep you dive in. In my opinion, it's better to stick with only one branch color and to change overlay colors to very low transparency. Also, if you're annoyed with spaces between the game objects, experiment with that divider height slider to better suit your needs. And that's it! Don't forget to like the video and comment if you like to see more of such simple tips and assets showcase. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Unity UI tips and tutorials. See you in the next video.